are you? I'm great. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name's Darcy Lynn. OK, and Darcy, who's that? My name's Petunia. Oh, it talks. <laughs> Is it a bunny? Yes. Oh. Is that a real bunny? <laughs> well, we're going to find out. <laughs> OK. And Darcy, why did you both decide to enter the show? Well, it was one of my big dreams. Um, but also, I would really like to keep uh, ventriloquism alive because it's not common, you know? So. <laughs> well, listen, Darcy, best of luck. I really hope you both Thank do well. Thank you so much. All right, good luck. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> what, you're going to sing? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> so. Puppet, I'm guessing, is exactly like you. Very charming and adorable. You made my heart melt. You were brilliant. <laughs> I'm trying to describe how amazing it was. <laughs> you know what? And if to my new friend, Oscar. Are you okay? What's wrong? Oh, D -D -D Darcy, I got a problem. A problem? Yeah, ever since you got the golden buzzer, I, I fell in love with Mel B. <laughs> Mel B, shh! That is a slight problem, I know. I, I think she's afraid of mice. <laughs> well, Oscar, I think your bigger problem is she's a human and you're a mouse. Well, I didn't think that would be an issue. I mean, Heidi was married to a seal. <laughs> so, I decided 
decided to sing her a song and tell her how I feel. Hit it. Mel B, this is for you, baby. can't do anything with his mouth shut. No, I think you were fantastic. I love you, you were fantastic. So, Amel, this was all for you, baby. It was all for you. Well, Darcy, you are just, I mean, you're just out of this world. You're my golden buzzer, and Oscar, I will date you. <laughs> wow, no in the stairwell, guys, no Air Force. It's all about Oscar. It's all about Oscar, but Nubby, Darcy, Oscar, you get just... a prenup. <laughs> forgot to do excuse last me. time. <laughs> oh, excuse me, yes, yes? M Mel B, you just look fantastic tonight. He said that you look fantastic tonight, Mel B. Yeah. Thank you, so do you, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, get a room. One smaller than this one. Simon! What can I say, Darcy? You, young lady, and Oscar, get ready for the big time, because it's coming your way. <laughs> You are so talented. You racked up over 200 million hits on, on the, uh, the World YouTube. Wide Web. The on, internet uh, thing. On the internet thing. <laughs> anyway, once you go mouse, you won't leave the house. Yes! Vote! <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm wrapping it up. Edna Doorknocker, what are you doing? Get me out of here. I have not been this uncomfortable since I was stuck in the elevator with the singing trump. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, where is that Simon Filler? Well, and he's right there. Oh, my, 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 my. He's a hit with the ladies in their 80s back at the home, you know. But Edna, what about the age difference? You're so old, he could give you a heart attack. Oh, don't worry, Darcy. Simon knows mouth to mouth. <laughs> Ew, TMI. All I wanted to do was tell him how he makes me feel. Well, why don't you sing him a song? What a great idea. Simon, my hunk of hunk of Englishman. This one's for you. <laughs> 
looking out on the morning rain. Oh, I used to feel so inspired. Oh, and when I knew I had to face another day. And what's your friend again? Edna. Okay, Edna, I've got a bit of a crush on you. <gasps> Darcy, you are in big trouble, but that aside, this was brilliant. Yeah. And let me tell you why it was brilliant. Because you're funny and you've got a wicked sense of humor. And I am imagining in my head now a kind of a Sesame Street type of show for you. I think you are heading, when I say the big time, this is big, this is where you're heading, young lady. <laughs> Mel B, look at that smile on that face. What are you thinking? You know, I mean, the first moment you walked onto this stage, I was just mesmerized. Yeah. You're self-taught, you're 12 years old. I hit that golden buzzer and I said to myself, she could easily, easily win this show, yes. 100%. 100%. You've just got what it takes. And in Armenian, we would say, hold on. What? Suramemkez. <laughs> I love, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you breaking out the you. Armenian every week. Have to. She's incredible. Okay, Heidi. My gosh, you really are a class act. And you know what? You're bringing ventriloquism to the next level. Who yeah. knew that you can make so many different voices? Yeah. You're incredible. Howie. This is amazing. What? Here we are in the finals of America's Got Talent. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm nervous. I hate dress rehearsal. Um, um, Oscar? Yeah, this is live. Uh, what? Uh. Oscar, uh, Oscar, Darcy, don't worry about him. But more importantly, um, do you think the camera's getting that good side? What? Uh, Oscar, Oscar, yeah, guys. Get it together. We're about to perform in front of 16 million people. Ugh. <laughs> Terrific. And I have a faded mouse and a bunny who thinks she's a diva. Say what? Yeah. All right. Os Oscar. Oh, guys. We need to figure out who's going to sing tonight. Um, obviously it should be me. I'm the reason we're all here. Excuse me, I I I'm the reason we're here. I, I got us to the semi finals. I'm the better singer. No, I'm the better guys. Shh, shh. Uh, OK, 
Okay, Oscar. Exactly which one of us got the golden buzzer? Hmm? Hmm? Petunia! Guys, you shouldn't fight. You need to work together, like some of the famous duos like Laure Laurel and Hardy, Hall and Oates, Simon and L.B. <laughs> uh, well, at least two out of those three are good examples. Sorry. You know what, guys, I think everyone here is wanting us all to sing. So I was thinking that we could sing a song. It's by Paul McCartney and John Lennon. It's called, a little, with a little help from my friends. Whoa. That's funny. A mouse and a bunny singing a song written by two beetles? <laughs> well, great. So, guys, what part am I singing? Um, uh, uh, Darcy, uh, you just stand there with your mouth closed like you always do. <laughs> yeah, hit it. <laughs> what would you do? Stand up and walk out on me No Lend me your ear And I'll sing you a song I will try not to sing out of key Oh, I get up to help you my friends Yeah, I get up to help you my friends Oh, I get up to help you my friends I try and watch for your mouth moving, and you are that professional. You're amazing. Oh, my God, I'm running out of breath. You're amazing. <laughs> this is what I think about you, Darcy. Tonight, again, I've just witnessed a star emerge, because that's what you are. You are special, incredible, funny, talented. I think you're going to win. So, Petunia, are you nervous? Yeah, a little. You know, I, I feel better if we were seeing with someone who's been in the finale before. Well, you know, I figured, so I invited my idol. Winston, the impersonating turtle! Uh, okay, Well, Winston. Uh, you know, Winston brought Terry Fader, too. Thank you. It's so good to see you, Winston. Oh, hey, hey, Petunia, I, I saw that Darcy's 80-year-old friend, Edna, is in love with Silent Cow. <laughs> yeah, she is. But, you know, I'm not so sure about it. You know, think about it. Age spots, wrinkles, broken hips. I think you just described Silent's wedding night. <laughs> now, B, that was for you. <laughs> you know, I'm really curious. Are you two competitive with each other? 
Yeah, in sports. You know, in school, we were on track together, and he always wins. Yeah, that's because you always stop halfway to take a nap. Get it? Tortoise in the hair, get it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Winston, we get it. Uh, <clears throat> I'm the best at telling jokes, by the way, Petunia. Not as good as me. What makes you say that? No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Wow, Winston, you sound like the original. Hello, impersonating turtle. Any note you can reach, I can reach higher. I can sing any note higher than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Can hold, I can hold longer. I can hold any note longer than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Please welcome your season 12 champion, Darcy Lynn. We're so happy to be back on this stage, right, Petunia? Yeah, but you know what I'm really looking forward to? What? A break! <laughs> A break? Yeah, I'm just, I'm so exhausted. <laughs> I don't want to show off no more What? I don't want to sing tunes no more You can't be serious I don't want to ride in rooms no more I don't want to show off I don't want to make news no more Entertain and amuse no more Get the glowing reviews no more Oh gee! I don't want to show off Don't try to control me Okay I made up my mind We're a team And that's it I quit You'll never see this Wait, where's the golden confetti? You'll never hear this oh, oh, oh. Never see this Never see that Never see her Show Petunia, for a big number like that, I'm surprised you didn't even do an encore.
that last note. Whoa. You know, the last time you were here, I remember that I announced you as the winner, and so much has happened. Like, your life has blown up to amazingness. Tell us how this is, um, AGT has changed your life. Uh, well, after winning, I got to do so many things that I wouldn't have gotten to do, and I'm just so humbled and honored for the opportunities, and it's all because of here and on AGT, and so thank you. And you're very humble. I mean, she's selling out shows across the country. It is so great to see you back. Thank you. All right, so check out Darcy's website for more information, and let's hear it one more time for this phenom, Miss Darcy Lynn. Today, Darcy. I am so good, but really nervous. <laughs> oh, that's fine to be nervous. Well, welcome to Champions. You are a champion. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> now, why did you want to come back and do Champions? Well, I always love a good competition, but I missed being on AGT, and maybe having a chance to have the world champion title just seems awesome. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, no pressure, but you're the first up, so let's set the standard. <laughs> Thank you. So, Oscar, are you, uh, are you a little nervous to be back on AGT? Um, yeah, a little. That's all right, it's gonna be so much fun. I mean, the crowd is here, the judges are here. It's, it's like we never left. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, Simon's even wearing the same clothes. <laughs> so, Oscar, how has your love life been since last year? Um, well, not very good. All right, well, how about you wow all the ladies tonight with a killer song? All right, let's do it. Hit the music! Stand up. This is a different Darcy Lynn than the Darcy Lynn who won America's <laughs> Got Talent two years ago. You walk out here like a seasoned professional, and you are the epitome of a dream coming true. Thank you. <laughs> well, I have to say, Oscar, you have won my heart with that. No way. And I really do hope the super fans vote for you tonight. I really yeah. do, because we've thoroughly enjoyed watching it tonight. So thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. you. I am so happy that you're back for America's Got Talent Champions, <laughs> because you're honestly one of the most unique talents. You really are so special. Thank you. See the light at the 
I was literally blown away by that. <laughs> Apart from being so charming and funny, you've actually got this incredible singing voice. Thank you. But you've got this killer competitive instinct as well, and that's what makes you a star. There are only two spaces in the final. And I think you deserve to be the world champion. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, my carrots. Oh, my carrots. What? Look at all these people. Hey, all of you up there, up there, up there, up there. Can you hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me? That's amazing. Petunia, what are you going to sing today? Well, I want to sing Italian opera. See, I actually believe this, for so many reasons, is your best ever performance you've ever given. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's hard enough at your age to sing opera, but you're doing it through a rabbit. <laughs> I think you may win tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Mel B, do you agree? Oh, my gosh, of course I agree. I mean, just your delivery and your confidence, because you are self-taught and you've worked so hard to get this far. You deserve everything and much, much more. Howie, what do you think about this performance? It was truly amazing because we didn't know you sing opera. You've gone through a whole season of AGT, and you still surprise. I think he's right. I think you got a shot at this tonight. Best of Thank luck, you. young lady. Well, good luck tonight, Darcy. Everybody show some love for Darcy Lynn. Hey, Darcy, Edna, I heard you guys are touring your show, and it's terrific. Yeah, it is so, so exciting. Mm-hmm. Uh, Edna, you, you okay? Oh. She's been kind of cranky lately. She says she can't sing anymore. Oh, no. What's the matter, ventriloquist got your tongue? No, Lassie. What? No, no, it's, it's actually wrong. I'll tell you what the problem is. People don't call you back when they say they're going to call you back. Well, gee, I don't even think I got your number in here. Not I... you. Him. <laughs> it's that Simon filler. S Simon? Now, Edna, you said you wouldn't bring that up. He doesn't call me anymore. I believe I'm lost in the third good. Ooh, I love a good drama. I love a good drama. Go ahead. But it's true. I can't breathe. Mm. I can't eat. Oh. I 
can't find my dentures. I just, I can't smile without him. You, you, you can't smile without him? No. That sounds like a cue. Oh, no. So very long to find Well, I'm finding it hard Leaving your love behind me Everybody! I can't, can't smile without you Put your hands together! I can't smile without you I can't laugh and I can't sing Finding it I think she passed out. <laughs> She's gone. Uh, oh, there she is. There she is. He makes my heart flutter. <laughs> I just can't. I love you, Simon. Love you too. Oh, this is amazing, Ralph. Yes, sir. You are a legend. Is uh, this your first time on AGT? Yes, sir. How do you like it, man? Oh, are you kidding? Look at this audience. Isn't this a beautiful thing? I love it here. You are incredible. Uh, How should I say dog? I, I, I called him a man. I'm hey, so sorry. You can call me dog, dog. <laughs> All right. Good luck tonight, Darcy. People, give it up one more time for Rolf the dog oh. and Darcy Lynn and Edna. You know what? I'm back, and I have the one name star status now. One name star? Yeah. You know, there's Beyonce, Adele, and now Petunia. <laughs> oh, and there's Preacher. Preacher? Yeah, I had to throw his name in there. He needs some love. He's still bitter. You know what? This song is dedicated to him. What song? Hit it! This is a name.
sensational Darcy Lynn and Petunia. Now, Darcy, you know what the acts are going through, waiting to find out if they're in the finals. What do you remember about that? I remember almost feeling like I was going to puke, like, every time, every time. So nerve-wracking. Oh, does Petunia remember anything? Oh, the nerves, Terry, the nerves, the nerves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. I would love to introduce you to my newest friend from Australia. This is Ivan. With an eye. Good eye. So, you know, me and Ivan have been hanging out for a while now, and, you know, I think he's a bit of a player. Oh, come on. I'm a hit with the, she with the Sheilas. Come on, I'm a hit. You know, I'm positive the lady we came here with likes me. But that's my mom. Huh, that's awkward. <laughs> Sophia, you free for dinner Thursday? <laughs> Heidi, you, me, Friday. All right, slow down there, dude. Come on, how about you just flex with a song? All right. Lady that can third turn to the Vivian, nobody can let Tina so go to the Kind of Belt. Hey, she had me going crazy. Oh, I was starstruck. She woke me up daily. Don't need no Java. She made my heart pound. It's gonna be when I see her in the street or at school on the playground. But I really wanna see her on the weekend. You know, she got me gazing, cause she was so amazing. And now my heart is breaking, but I just keep on singing, baby, baby, baby. I know. I hope my ex-girlfriend sees that. Whoa, whoa, ex-girlfriend. Yeah, anybody I know? Oh, you know her. Petunia's your ex? And for the record, I dunked him. Uh, a Petunia, you flee Saturday? You wish. Um, Ivan, everybody! Now, Darcy, lockdown has been difficult, but you seem really busy. How's it been for you? You know, I would have been out on tour, but I've been doing a lot of fun projects on TV at home, so check it out online. It's pretty fun. Yes, Darcy has got a lot going on right now, including her YouTube series, The Spin with Darcy Lynn. One more time for Darcy Lynn. Oscar, we're back. I know, it feels so good. Right? So, what's new with you? Well, little mouse told me that you've been dating a lot. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I, I have a girlfriend. You, you have a girlfriend? Oh my, I told you you were a chick magnet, or mouse magnet. She's, she's not a mouse. Oh. She's, uh, she's, she, she's what? She's a squirrel. Please, no nut jokes. Okay. Samantha, never sit still. A little hyper? I'll say. I mean, have you seen a squirrel cross the street? I'm dating that. Edna calls her my nut job. Do you love her? Ew. Edna? No. 
Samantha. Well, of course I love her, but she drives me crazy. Oscar, you worry too much. You know, sometimes you just gotta let the good times roll. Hey, I got a song for that. Hit it! Hey, everybody, let's have some fun. You only live once, and when you're dead, you're done. So let the good time. Right now, we've got one of our finalists taking the stage with two AGT champions. First, give it up for Celia Munoz. Okay, Manolo, I have to hang up. Uh, 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 Terry Feito? No, Terry Feito, unfortunately, he's not here. Terry? Oh! Oh! I can't believe you are here, Terry Feito! Thank you. So me wish upon a star Look up where the clouds are far behind Troubles melt like lemon drops I above the chimney top That's where you'll find me Somewhere over the rainbow Bluebirds fly Birds light over the rainbow Why then? Ah! 
having an incredible career after AGT. What would you say to Celia tonight? Oh man, Celia, I mean, I love the uniqueness that you bring to ventriloquism and the creativity, and you are just a light for the ventriloquist community, seriously. Thank you. It's amazing. Thank you. I'm standing here with three massively popular ventriloquists. Terry, why do you think America loves this art form so much? Well, I think because it gives us a chance to be children again. And when we make inanimate objects talk, it's magic. Absolute magic. Yes, it is. Now, Celia, you said both Terry and Darcy were a real inspiration for you. How was it? performing with them right now. Well, I mean, I guess uh, this is a, I have goosebumps all on my body. I can <laughs> thank you know, these two masters of ventriloquism. Uh, thank you, thank you, everybody. Heidi, did you enjoy this? I do a lot. I feel like, I feel like you should have been up there too with Mr. Grumpy. I know, but uh, you know, it's their time. I don't want to upstate. That's very uh, nice, that's very uh, nice. Yeah, well, good luck tonight. Terry is bringing his road show to Canada in September. You can find dates and ticket info online. And you can see Darcy in her recent movie, A Cowgirl Song, and an upcoming comedy special out next year. One more time for Celia Munoz, Terry Fader, and Darcy Lynn. Did you have a mentoring session with her? Yeah. She didn't tell me the song. She wasn't telling me what the surprise is, so I couldn't even give my two cents in, like, so. Wow. Oh, the moment you've all been waiting for. Me. Okay, Petunia, this isn't all about you, and plus, I'm 19 now. I know, you're aging. I'm not. <laughs> I know, but I, I feel like I feel like I'm old enough to do this on my own now. <laughs> oh, you're serious? Yeah, I am. I feel like I've got the music in me. Ain't got no trouble in my life. No foolish dream to make me cry. Well, when life get me down, come on, tell you. I'm gonna take it the way that I found it. I got the music in me. Thank you. Darcy, 
I think that you are absolutely fantastic. I'm glad you didn't abandon Petunia all the way because yeah. this is how we fell in love with I you. I felt bad for her. I'm so happy also that you're back here on our stage. Thank you. Mel, what did you think? Your beauty is you and Petula's. Petula's Petunia. voice, Petulia's voice, and your voice. Petunia. You, you know who I mean. Petunia. Petu I can't even say Petunia. No, Petunia. Petunia. And Petunia, yeah. that's what captured America's hearts. But I almost loved the simplicity of what you were doing back then. And I just feel like the music and everything else overshadowed what you're so good at. I don't agree. I don't agree. You know what, Does it? I'm going to agree with Mel, and I'll tell you why. There are very few people in the world who can do what you do. The singing and the ventriloquism together is your, what I call USP, your unique selling point. And I think we were distracted away from what you do so brilliantly. The good news is, it's not down to us, it's down to the audience. Thank you. You took a really, really big risk in stepping away from Petunia. It's definitely different, but it's just a new part of me, and that's why I did it. Having raised teenage girls, it's also somebody who's 12 years old who wants to show another yes, side. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to, she doesn't yeah, she want to be that made little that girl. Into a bit of a comedy thing. <laughs> As an artist, you need to follow your own instinct. You have to, at some point, not listen to the noise anymore, and you just have to do what's in your gut. And that is maybe a risk, but this is what you wanted, and you did it. Thank you, thank you. Howie, you know, uh, we all, as human beings, we have many sides and many things. You're standing beside a guy who's not only a great host, but he's an artist, he's an athlete, yeah. he's thank a you. motivational speaker. Those are all part of him. You're a singer, you're a ventriloquist, and thank you for sharing another side. Mel B. I mean, I do agree with what you're both saying, but this is, you know, this is a competition, and you have to remember what you came into this with. Can, can I ask you a question? Of course. So this was your decision? Yes. It wasn't complete. your mum or your dad's? No, it was my decision. And are you happy with what you did? I am, yes. Then I think that's all that matters. Simon. A couple of weeks ago, Darcy did less of the ventriloquism and more singing, and we said 
we think that's a big mistake. And so you completely disregarded our advice, <laughs> threw away the puppets, and decided to come out and do it yourself. But you know what? I've always believed the most successful people in life are people who make their own decisions and don't listen to other people. Good for you for sticking with your guns. Thank you, Simon. Give it up for Darcy Lynn! Definitely nervous for the results. I took another big risk. The decision wasn't easy, but I definitely think I made the right choice. That was incredibly if, bold. If, audience, if she would have said, I'll come back to the show, but it's not about puppets for me, it's about singing. Yeah. I wonder if people would have, would have still voted her in then. I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. Welcome to the stage, the king of the nerds, Don McMillan. Oh, so I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have gotten something completely different in my audition. 3% likability. That's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor, right? No, maybe you do shave, you're just so masculine, the minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. Uh, at 1%, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. He, I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6% is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. Too, too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying, that's all. <laughs> So Sophia! You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition, and I really want to know what Simon thinks! Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I the think magic that... Of Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. How are you? You don't want to give a standing ovation to, let me finish, to Howard Stern. Because I think you made the best choice. He this did. is probably the best wild card. Uh, please, Nobody please, has done please, better. Hug it out. Hug it out. They're going to kiss please, on live TV. Please, 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 they were arguing. Oh! I think I see Tom. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Oh my God! Are you you did it! Times, oh. Howie. Oh. You both did it! They kissed on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> and it... Hi, my name is Vanessa, and I'm from South Pasadena. My question for Simon is: What animal do you think you look like the most? I think it's a lemur. And I remember seeing a nature program once, and I thought that actually looks like me. Sophia, the chihuahua that you posted this morning on your Instagram story, is that yours? And do you have more? <laughs> I have two chihuahuas in my life. Oh, one oh. is my son, and the other one oh, was oh. supposed to be my dog, but she hates me and loves my husband, and she's a very bad dog. Oh, oh. And we have a question for Heidi. I would love to know what her most embarrassing moment is. I have four children, and I would say to them, everything I do is embarrassing. What's up, Darcy? Hey. I'm looking for a partner, you know? Maybe we can do something. You do ventriloquism? What? Oh, do I? Bam! That wasn't even me who said that. Is that a sock? No, it's not. <gasps> it's a sock. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, Z, Come on. You can do better. 
Why are you being mean? You're still moving your mouth. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm talking about now. This is never gonna work. Awkward. So if you had to be on a desert island for the rest of your life with either me or mummy, who would it be? Why? Why? <laughs> like father, like son. Are you trying to do my job? Are you? What do I do? Ooh. That is my job. Just like your daddy. I think maybe you need a little better choreography. Yeah, I was disappointed, sorry. Beautiful. What I feel the same way. I lyric. always want more Parmesan. Thank I was you. right there. I know, I know. Why I are they so stingy on the Parmesan? Parmesan. What? It's disgusting. What? No. Uh, I don't know why I'm even having this conversation anyway, because I don't like Parmesan. I don't like your song. So I'm saying no. Howie, what do you think? I gotta say, I didn't, I didn't love it. Sophia, it's a no. I don't know what was happening. Wow. Oh my God. No. We, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard, okay? Let's take what? a look. Here Sunset we go. Boulevard. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, oh. Three, two, one! And that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. <laughs> you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. No, okay. <laughs> also, I'm, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them <laughs> don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> I was grumpy up sometimes, up? and Simon is sometimes local, so it, there's <laughs> nothing. I admit it. I do admit it. <laughs> hey, Heidi. Your hand binoculars are ridiculous. Stop it. You don't understand. They're not binoculars. Yes, they are. No, but it does. It takes the light outside from the outside, sense. and it gets darker around, and then I can actually see better. I need to my focus glasses. into some parts yes. sometimes. Exactly. So it's not it so bright. Make sense. Because when it's so bright, I can't see what they're doing, and I need to judge. So my family and I are watching AGT, and my dad says, "Is Beyonce always on this? It's Tyra Banks." <laughs> 
or is it? Blue Ivy, Blue Ivy, sit down right now. Mom, I got to host this show, Blue. AGT made Simon Cowell so soft. <laughs> yes, for me. I want Simon the Savage back. The one who crushed dreams and made people cry for fun. <laughs> off. <laughs> I got it. That is Heidi having lunch. Feel it's Heidi chewing something? Heidi chewing chips. Sounds like a hamster is eating something. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the guy crushing the nuts with his butt cheeks. Mr. Cherry, I love him. <laughs> it was hard. It really hurt. Can I introduce you to Mr. Grumpy? I have it. You wow. want to meet him? Yes. This is Mr. Grumpy. Oh my gosh, Mr. Grumpy. Hi, Mr. Grumpy. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, uh, hi, Darcy. Hi, Sophia. I wow. haven't seen you in a long time. You look beautiful. You look young every day. So how, how long have you, how long have you been doing? Oh, I've done it for 11, 11 you, years. 11 years. Wow, it's amazing. Mr. Grumpy would get along well with my friend Edna. Edna, Edna, where are you? Hi. Oh, oh hi, Edna. You are very old. What? You're very old. What? Old. Hello, darlings. Sophia, I don't just like Edna. I love Edna. Moving, I can do this too. He's moving his lips. There was, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care what you say, Howie. No. They're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? <laughs> it's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night. Only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent. Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, he's I'm a not. real liar, eh? The only thing I'm mad at la, is la, that you worked on la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, you would have won la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, la, you guys la, are so la, fucking good. <laughs> we got another question from Zach, who is a big male B fan. What's your question, Zach? Hi, <laughs> Rip. It's like, his, it's like his first time online. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back, young man. He's excited. Thank you so much. Hi, girl power, Melanie. My question is, <laughs> what exactly does off the chain mean? It means that I'm really excited about the act, and I think it's, like, amazing. So I say it's off the chain, as in, like, wowzer. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> the definition of off the chain is wowzer. Yeah. You know what I mean? He understands. He gets it. I do. <laughs> Great job, Zach. <laughs> we this word is magic. Did you just look? No. Not at the... Are no. you guys talking? No. Freak. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. Cheating. You heard him tell me the word. That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> him, They're him cheating him him because they heard you cheating. Yes. All right, nice. this is the I'm final clue. The clue. We are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. Million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. Everybody. That is the word. Simon.